Hey guys, welcome to the another video. And today we're going to talk about how to use Toolgit in 2025, complete guide tutorial to building internal tools. Let's get started. So first, um, let us know what is Toolgit. So Toolgit is a free tool that helps you build web application and internal tools without writing a lot of code. So it's great for creating like um, things like admin panels, dashboards, or apps that helps team run their daily work more easily. So whether you are a developer or not, Toolgit makes the whole process much faster and simpler. So when you open a Toolgit, you'll see a visual builder like um, that's kind of like a blank canvas. You can drag and drop blocks like tables, buttons, charts, text boxes, and more to design your application. So these blocks can be connected to your data. So for example, if you have a list of uh, users or products, you can show that data into your app with just a few clicks. One of the best parts about Toolgit is that it works with many different data sources. So you can connect it to your databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL, or services like Google Sheets, Firebase, or APIs. So this makes it very flexible. You don't need to move your data around to start using Toolgit. Now, um, Toolgit is also open source, which means anyone can use it for free and even change how it works. You can install it on your own server so your data stays private. So this is a great for our companies that care about security. If you don't want to install it yourself, Toolgit has, also has a cloud version that they host for you with extra features. So even though Toolgit is low code, you can still write JavaScript inside, inside it if you want to add more advanced features. So this is a very helpful for developers who need more control. But if you are not a technical, you can still build using um, this Toolgit um, tools. But if you are not a technical, you can still build useful apps using the visual tools and the basic settings. So Toolgit also lets you work with a team. You can manage who can see or edit what. And there's version control so you can track changes or go back to an earlier version of your app. So this is really helpful when multiple people are working on the same project. Now, in terms of performance, Toolgit runs pretty smoothly. It loads quickly and most features work without any issues. Uh, just keep in mind that if your app gets very complex or you are working with a huge amount of data, you may need to make a few tweaks to keep it running fast. So let's talk about the cost. So if you are okay with installing Toolgit yourself, it's a completely free. This is a perfect for startups, small teams, or developers working on a personal projects. Now, if you want to use their cloud version instead, there is a free plan and then some paid plans with extra tools like better support or security features. All right, so to start with, you want to go first to the uh, Toljet uh, website. And of course, you want to create an account. So since it's free, you can actually create an account for free so you can try their application or their tools. Now, as you can see here, this would be the dashboard after you sign up for an account. So earlier, I actually tried uh, making or creating an app. So first, once you logged in, you want to create on click an app. But before that, let's go ahead and check it out all the options or buttons right here on our dashboard. So here, as you can see, there's an apps, uh, Toolgit database, uh, data sources, and workspace constant. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can also uh, upgrade for a 13-day free trial. And also, you can book for a demo. So let's try to click on book for a demo. Now, of course, uh, to book a one-on-one -on -one with our product expert, 
built with toolJet and AI-powered low-code low internal tool builders give your developers the break they deserve. So all you have to do, guys, is to enter your full name right here, your uh, business email, your contact information, and your company's website. And of course, you want to tell them um, what do you want for uh, for ToolJets for? And then click on book a demo. Now let's go back to the dashboard. So earlier, like I said, I actually um, create an account or application. Now let's go ahead and try to edit this, okay? So let me just click on that and let's wait for the ToolJet to load up. So it will take a few seconds and there you go. So I actually, um, this canvas, so when you first started creating an app, so it would be a blank space or a blank canvas. Now on this side, as you can see here, so there is a components. So you can uh, drag and drop um, like tables, button, form, text input, date picker, text and for the layouts you can drag modal container tabs and list a few so as you can see here um one second here and i actually drop and jog or jog and drop a table right here so as you can see so there's a list of names here let's say this is all my teamwork or my teams so you can actually edit their names um, email address, date, mobile number, and many more. And here, as you can see, I also have a button right here. So from the components, I actually jog a button. And um, you can uh, place it anywhere. And then I actually uh, drop a text input. So here you can add a text. Let's say uh, Mojojo Team. There you go. And then you can actually um, place it wherever you like. All right. And for the table, you can actually add tables. As you can see, there's an add ta a new table. So here the ID, the photo um, of your teammate, the name. You can add their name, their email, date and many more and mobile number as well and then you want to click on save now that's basically it guys so you can just drag and drop all the components right here that you need into your canvas and after that you want to click on promote so you also want to click on the preview so you can see uh, the free view uh, version of the application that you created so let's wait for the toolJet to load it up there you go so this is how it looks like so that's basically it guys so as you can see it's very simple to use this toolJet uh, website so all you have to do is to go to their website and make an account and since it's free you can actually um, uh, try making an app without an hustle and without any without paying any dime and I think that will be all for today, guys. I hope you like it. See you guys on the next one.